So here's our first look at LMMS, uh, which is Linux Multimedia Studio. It is, uh, if you've come from the Windows world and you're familiar with Fruity Loops, it tries very hard to be like Fruity Loops, although it is not the same. It is different. Uh, for a while there, I did not like LMMS too much. I found it to be unstable. I found it crashed a lot and to be missing a lot of features it could have. But uh, I just tried it again recently. And uh, the newer version, even though it, they're still not even at version 1, they're still at version uh, uh, that I'm using right now is 0 0.4.2. Um, they've added a lot of features since last time I used it and it seems to be a lot more stable. It's not crashing like it used to on me. So I'm going to give you a tutorial on it. This is your basic screen when you come in here. Uh, this is your song editor over here with your tracks. Uh, your beat editor over here. And then over here we've got our uh, effects mixer so you can have effects to different tracks. Let's um, look over here if we click on this little music note they have a lot of preset loops and instruments for you to play with and today we're just gonna go over making a simple uh, beat so let's go into drums and if you click and hold on these sounds it will play the sound for you uh, most of them are AUG files uh, you can also browse your own files if you have WAV files or AUG files uh, available on your system so uh, let's just grab one of these. We'll grab this bass drum. Just drag it over here, or you could double click it and we'll add it over here. Uh, we'll also grab. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this one here. Just double click that. It adds it over here to your beat bass line. Um, a little shaker there. We'll add that. Uh, let's go down here to instruments and see what we got. We got a. Let's do uh, this piano here. So I'm just going to do a quick little simple uh, beat loop here. Um, we've got a simple looking window here and we can start putting in beats here. So press play on that. We do a shaker. We can start. And then we got our kicker. We can add in a piano here. There's a piano with the same note going on. What we can do is we can actually right click on this and go open up piano roll and we can actually view the piano roll here. Uh, you can zoom in by holding down control and scrolling in and I'm going to lower the volume of the music a little bit here. Our master volumes up here. You can also enable this You can so you can see uh, if that starts going red you know you're uh, clipping a bit there. But we can change the notes that we're playing here. So, uh, let's see. Removing those notes. If I uh, click, what's going on here? There we go. Now I'm dragging it. We can add in more notes if we want. Now we'll minimize that a little bit. So you see we still have uh, the notes listed here, but they're actual notes being played rather than the same note over and over again. Also on any of these, you can double click on the name there. I guess single click on the name should do it. There you go. Brings up what the wave looks like. You can see what notes are being played in the virtual keyboard here. And you have a lot of uh, effects and stuff that we can get into in later tutorials. But uh, you can see this is right here the piano, uh, and it's just that one note. Now you can change uh, where that note is. So that is a uh, that note should be played right here. If we move that, you can see it changes the pitch on basically where that uh, wave file is recorded from. If what I'm saying makes any sense, and you can hit this uh, R here to reverse the sample. Uh, and then this loop basically continuously loops it. You can play with that. I don't usually use that. Uh, you can also change the start and end of the uh, of the wave file. So if I wanted to trim down the sample, I can. So you see now it's 
it's ending earlier, it's not playing out that full note, it's clipping it right here, so it's only playing that part. Same thing, we can move it out, we can move the start up, so it's not as hard because because uh, it's not as loud as the beginning there. You can also change the, the volume of the thing right there. So there we go, we have a basic loop created, just a minute. Um, at this point, you can see that we have that loop over here that's baseline zero, so you can see that there. We can add that into our song there and drag it out to loop it, and then we can also um, click here, and we added a, a new loop with the same instruments, but uh, there's nothing in it yet, so now we can start building our next little loop. And now we can add that, you can see that here, so we can add that into our song. So right now we press play over here, we're playing our loop. If we press play over here, it will play our song and go along the track here. And you see when it gets here, we'll start playing our second loop. And you can also you know, have two loops or more playing at the same time if you wanted. I'm going to get more into the song editor later on in later tutorials. But that's our uh, basically making a loop. You can also play these. So you can click on that and play your virtual keyboard down here. Also if you have it selected, you can play on your QWERTY keyboard. You can adjust the volume and panning of each instrument too. Uh, so that's the basics on making a loop. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely more to come.